So braided rivers uh, have some very distinctive characteristics in terms of the sediment transport, sedimentary structures, and facies. For, so with all sediment transport, the Reynolds number uh, is a really uh, important aspect of it, including for braided rivers. And when the flow speed is high and the water depth is high, there's more transport. So one of the key things for rivers in general is that the floods where the flow speed and water depth are highest uh, transport a lot of the sediment. So the floods are the things that really shape the overall geometry of the river and the channels. And they're the ones that control the maximum grain size because that's when the, the Reynolds number is highest and you can get the transport of those grains. The rest of the time, the finer sediment um, can still be transported. The other thing is that if you look at one of the channels here, at a lower flow, you end up with the Reynolds number highest in the middle and lowest on the edge, so you end up with the coarsest sediment here and finer uh, sediment uh, being deposited on the shallow parts. The fine sediment is being transported everywhere in the whole channel, but the coarsest sediment can only be transported in the, in the deepest parts or during floods. Okay. So we have this very distinctive uh, gradation in grain size. The coarser grains can never get up to here and the finer grains can never be deposited down, or not deposited down here unless they get caught behind a boulder or a larger rock here. So you end up with this nice transition in grain size. And then the third thing is that when you have the bars, the water is flowing into the upper part and eroding downstream. So the main bar migration is downstream. So these are some of the key dynamics uh, for braided rivers. Okay, so the sedimentary structures are related to both the grain size and the flow speed. And those characteristic of braided rivers often include uh, trough cross stratification. And that's from the uh, migration of irregular uh, dune shapes because the flow speed varies uh, dramatically within the channel you almost never get um, uh, straight crested uh, dunes forming. On the, on the edges of the bars where you might have granules to sand size type grains, you, the flow speed can, can be very high and you can get uh, upper planar lamination. Um, and uh, various types again of the trough cross stratification where the f if the flow speeds are low enough and the grains are coarse enough you can also get the lower planar lamination um, it's also common along the very tops of the bars to get uh, ripple cross lamination And then in addition to these, the migration of the bars can create uh, a cross stratification that's not due specifically to uh, a bed form of this type, but the migration of the bars. So um, there's other uh, forms of cross stratification from bar migration. So one of the key things um, with the sedimentary structures is that they mostly represent a flow in one direction um, going downstream. 